there welcome to my kitchen welcome back to our channel today we're gonna make a recipe out of this little old cookbook that I tell y'all to find at your local thrift stores all the time these little cookbooks from churches these little old ladies sign their names to these they are always good this this particular book is called butter and love recipes and it's from the Center Baptist Church this little recipe is called shipwreck and it is so easy to make 10 minutes to put it together an hour in the oven you're good to go let's get started I mean we are talking seriously cheap ingredients here you need one medium onion a I half <laughs> When I say simple ingredients, I do mean simple, cheap ingredients. You need one medium potato, a half a cup of rice, one pound of hamburger, one can of tomatoes or tomato sauce, either one will work, one can of drained and rinsed kidney beans. I use the light red, but if you like dark, that's fine too. A whole onion, a stick of celery, salt, pepper, paprika, and a half a stick of butter. All right, the first thing you have to do is get you a casserole dish in your oven. Ah. And, and I'm having the devil of a time. Okay. And what we're going to do is melt that half a stick of butter. All right, all, you know, that half a stick of butter, and we're just going to kind of move it all around in there. Make sure, you know, and that little bit of brown, that's just more flavor. So, there's where we're going to start. Then the second thing we're going to do is start our hamburger. We're going to get a medium-low heat. We just want to cook that hamburger, mostly done or done. Either way, it's going to cook for an hour in the oven, so it doesn't have to be, like, done-done. I'm going to heat that pan. I am, you don't have to, but I am going to sprinkle just a little bit of olive oil, not even a teaspoon in there, because that hamburger that I'm using is probably like 80, 20 or something, which means it's not going to have a lot of fat, and I don't want it to stick. All right, and my cast iron, I probably didn't need that olive oil, but he just we just finished doing these pans and if you want to see that Randy can link it in La La Land somewhere up there where we clean cast iron this pan is primo I'm primo I'm loving this pan which I've always loved it but I mean I'm really loving it now let's get that hamburger in there and get that started we're just gonna slide that hamburger in there That's how you break up hamburger. And you're going to salt and pepper to taste. So that's about all I want there because I'm going to continue to salt as we layer that casserole. And there's some pepper to taste. Oop, nope. This has got a flip top. Oh, I was about to make a mess. Alright, then we're going to just put a healthy amount of paprika in there. I don't know how much, I just do it till it's covered. And we're going to keep breaking that up and get that all mixed together. Okay, now that my hamburger's broke up good enough and it's only got just a little bit of pink left in there, I'm going to go ahead and just turn that off. And we're going to start layering that casserole dish. All right, the first layer is your onions. And it's 
slice your onions really fine. Oop, not that fine. Not that fine. All right. Now we're just going to drop those into the casserole. Just so you got some everywhere. Okay, now we're going to take that one potato and we're going to slice that potato same way. Nice thin little slices. Now we're just going to layer those in the bottom of the pan too. Now let's spread them out a little more than that. Okay, let's do it like that. Okay. Okay, now we're going to salt and pepper those potatoes and onions. Pepper. There we go. Put the paprika to it. Okay. Now we're going to put that hamburger in a nice layer across the top. Alright, now I've got my onions, potatoes, and hamburger. Now I'm going to add my half a cup of rice. I'm just going to sprinkle that uncooked rice. This is uncooked rice. Nice sprinkle all the way around. We're going to add those light red kidney beans. A little bit everywhere. And then we're going to salt and pepper it again. That's why I said lightly salt and pepper. We're going to do each layer. A little more paprika. Now we're going to add one stalk of celery. I'm just going to dice that celery up. Now we're just going to drop that same way, willy nilly, over the top. Move it around a little bit. Looks good to me. Now we're going to add that can of tomatoes all across the top. Now I'm just going to layer that out, make sure it's all over everything. Just like that. Now I'm going to take and get one cup of water. And I'm going to add one cup of water, which means I'm just going to fill that up halfway. It doesn't have to be that perfect. And we're going to pour that all over the top just to make sure that we have enough liquid in there to cook our rice. Now we're going to put some, if you have a covered casserole, then go ahead and cover it. I don't have a cover for this one, so I'm going to put aluminum foil, but I'm going to put this Aluminum foil on here, and it's going in a 350 degree oven for one hour. No peaking, no opening, leave it alone, and at an hour, then you can take it out and test it and make sure that your rice is done. Okay. Just 
going to give that a good, nice, tight fit. And in the oven we go. In we go. And as for the magic of video, I will see you in one hour, like a minute. All right, here we go. Oh, oh my goodness, this thing is heavy. That's a lot of food. Here we go. That is a lot of food for a little money. Yeah, we're just gonna go in there and mix that up just a little bit so everybody gets a little bit of everything. And if you want to, you can put you some cheddar cheese over the top or you can have it just like it is. Time for the taste test. Come on, Randy. Show them I'm not crazy. Boom, trigger, look at it like a boom, trigger, look at it like a boom. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. That's the fact. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Uh-huh. Where's that from? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Hot. Yes, back, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that movie with uh, Bill Murray, Stripes, oh. where they joined the, the army. Uh, they gotcha. had to complete army training, oh, sir. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is really good. Of course, I'm going to probably add some pepper. Uh, and I'm probably going to throw a little bit of butter on the top of it. Even though it had a half a stick of butter in there. Well, you know me. Yeah, I do. Extra, extra, extra. Very good. It is. Mm -hmm. Minimal ingredients, really, really inexpensive. Feed a minimum of four people, if not five. Well, there's one, two, at least five. Yeah, yeah probably five or six. Yeah. I know what to get for lunch tomorrow. Yep. Yep, that's definitely lunch tomorrow. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go salt and butter up and eat my dinner. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. We out. Bye.